Okay, y'all, I got to get back to the story of how my ex ended up marrying my best friend. Mind you, we were together for six years, engaged for two. This is part one to this story. You have to go on my page, look for it, and watch part one so you can follow along. After the discussion between him and myself and the breakup and everything, he started packing his stuff. So I told him, I said, look, man, I got some things to do. So just go ahead and finish what you're doing. When you're leaving, put your keys under the doormat. You know, make sure you get everything. Don't come back here. And he just looked at me. I left. My When I left, I was going to my best friend Grace's house. But I went and parked my car by a store somewhere in the parking lot and then took Uber to her place because I had an intention to stay there and be there when he shows up. Because I mean, come on now, I knew deep inside of me that he, that her house was going to be his next stop after he packed his stuff. That's why I went there. So when I got there, luckily for me, she was home. So she opened the door, got in there. We sat down, we started girl, girls to girl talk. It wasn't nothing concerning what just happened because I didn't want to alarm her or anything, right? So I was sitting there about 45 minutes later, she heard a knock at the door. And her phone didn't ring. I believe this guy was so used to going to her house. They had such this uh, mutual thing going on that he could just show up anytime. So when she heard a knock, she, oh my gosh, she's like, I wonder who it is. I'm not expecting anybody. I was like, girl, go get the door. I already knew who it was. So when she opened the door, she started to whisper something. And then he goes, what? What, you don't want me to come in? Because she just kicked me out. I told her what you told me to tell her. She's actually cool. And, you know, I, you know, my plan was to come here. You know, that's our plan. And she's like, but I said, but what? Who is it at the door? She wouldn't say anything. She started to stutter. They started to whisper. And I believe she said oh, she's here. So I ran up to the door. I said, no, nah, Grace, let him in. Let him in. Matter of fact, we need to finish this, you know, this, this discussion up right here, right now. Come in. Come in. Grace's new man. Come in. And she looked at me in some kind of a way. And I said, come on, girl. I said, you good. Let's sit down, please. Let's sit down. We need to finish this, uh, this talk right here about the both of y'all being the newest couple on the block. And then both of us, me and him walk. As we were walking, I look back. She's still standing by the door with her back against the door. I look, and this girl's crying. I walk up to her. I said, why are you crying? She said, this is just too much. This is just so not right. It's just too much. I'm like, girl, you better come on. What you mean it's too much? You better be the happiest woman. Being with the man that you fell in love with and he fell in love with you too. Come on, let's go. Wipe them crocodile tears. You just, you know you're just faking. Come on, let's go. She's like, oh my God, you don't. I said, I understand. Let's go. So I grabbed her arm, took her. We went and sat down. It's like, look, man. He told me what y'all been up to. He told me how you felt about it. So I don't have any hard feelings towards you. I just wanted to be here so when he showed up, so we can wrap this thing up and we all can move on. So for now, what I want to do, Grace, is to get on my knees and ask you to marry my fiancé. Because, you know, originally he gave me the, the ring. The reason why I want to do this, you know how to do pageants and stuff like that? The new queen, the old queen got to crown the new queen. You are the new queen in his life. I said, girl, give me your hands. I have to do this just to let you know that I don't have any hard feelings and I'm truly happy for you. Give me your hands. Let me put it on. She reluctantly dropped her hand on her lap. I grabbed her finger and I put the ring on her finger and I said, Grace, will you marry my ex fiance she's like you actually expecting an answer from me come on this is hard enough for me i said this is hard for all of us I mean, but i need you to have at least have the decency and say yes i trust him in your hands i want him to be happy and i know that he's going to be happy with you so just just out of 
me being honest with you that I'm happy for you, at least say yes. That at, at least I know you're not going to dump him. I took care of him for six years. I want him to be in good hands. I trust you. So please say yes. She go, yeah, yeah, I guess. I said, come on, man. You can say it better than that. She said, yes. I said, thank you. Look, I, I'm honestly happy for you. I'm going to be here to help you plan this wedding and everything, okay? Don't think that I'm going to stop talking to you. Don't feel, you know, embarrassed to call me or whatever. All of this stuff is behind me. And I expect y'all to put it behind y'all. We're going to be, our relationship with one another is going to remain the same. You understand? I got to go. Y'all go ahead, go out on a date, celebrate, start making babies, you know. You got some wine here? Matter of fact, you got some wine? She was like, are you serious? I said, go get the wine. Bring glasses. Let's toast to the new couple on the block. I wish you everything. Bring the wine. Let's toast. Bring the wine. She's, okay, you don't want to get the wine. So I went and got the wine. Took three glasses. Came and gave their own the glasses. Poured the wine in it. I said, let's toast to a long-lasting relationship. Did death do y'all apart? Let's toast to that big white wedding and everything. Let's toast. We toasted. I said, look, y'all, honestly, no hard feelings. We good. So I left, y'all. But that wasn't the end of it. <laughs> there is something in this for me that I'm going to accomplish on their wedding day. I will continue the story. Stay tuned.